Are you sure you want to learn color correction like me or maybe even better? Well, stick until the end and I will show you the easiest way to color correct your videos while maintaining the best quality. There is also an AI that I will talk about later in the video. So let's get it started. So for this tutorial, I have chosen 5 clips. The first one seems neutral, so I will use that as a reference to color correct the rest of the footages. As you can see, the second and third clips looks almost similar. The only difference is, third one is more dull compared to the second one. So we will use acceleration effect to bring back some of its colors. Then we'll use curves to further adjust them. If you don't know how curves works, the upper part controls the brighter areas and the lower part controls the darker areas. We will focus on the brighter areas to get the colors we want. First adjust the red channel for details, then adjust the green channel for a yellowish or creamy look, then adjust the blue channel to control the white intensity. Remember, small senses can make big differences, so be careful with it. So next add the brightness and contrast effect to increase the brightness while maintaining the contrast of it. The fourth clip already has good colors, so we aren't gonna sense anything in the CC part. But for the fifth clip, reduce the saturation slightly cause it looks a bit too red. Now that the clips are balanced, we can add the main CC to all of these clips at once. First add the detail resolving of scale which is very, very important. Then add the sharpen effect which basically creates a white line in between the contrast joints. So don't increase it too much unless you want those city bold white lines, you know. I like to keep it at 15. Then add unsharp mask which enhances the contrast on the contrast joints and you can adjust the spread with the radius value and you can adjust the contrast amount with the amount value. Now for my secret sauce, add looks and click on edit. Select the LUT effect and import my custom LUT. There you have it. Now you can adjust the intensity. I like to keep it at 50%. Then add another detail reserving of scale effect to reduce the noise created by this color correction. Here is a tip for you. If you upscale your videos with the same topaz settings before applying any CC, the result will look much cleaner. Speaking of upscaling, let me introduce you to a power of editing tools, Wondershare Uniconverter. It can convert any kind of videos or audios to 1000 plus format like MP4, MKV, MOV, WebM, TS and you have got my point. It's fast and has a built-in video editor for quick edits like trimming the video, adding effects, scene detection, automatic subtitles, watermark remover, etc etc. But it doesn't stop there. It's also powered with the latest GPT 4.0. It can write scripts for your videos, generate thumbnails, upscale your videos and images. Trust me, it's really fast at upscaling. Find highlights, perfect AI generated voices with voice sensor, focal remover, scene detection, auto group, and the list goes on and on and on. And my favorite one is the compression tool. It can reduce the file size up to 70% while maintaining the high quality. It's really helpful when you have a lot of videos in your PC. So definitely give it a try, the link is in the description. Now that I have shown the quality difference of AI denoising, let's talk about when to add the color correction. I will add some simple transitions with my fixed any plugin just to get those motion blur and add the CC after that. As you can see, the CC doesn't connect with the blur. So what I am trying to say is always apply your CC before applying any transitions. Now let's get into the color grading part. For the fourth clip, the background is too noisy. So we are gonna fade the background with some smoke like effects. Duplicate the layer and apply BCC color key and deep glow effect. Pick the background color and play around with the settings. Then apply fast box blur and reduce the opacity. And additionally, you can also add tint effect just before applying the fast box blur. As a bonus tip, I will introduce you to an interesting effect as this total GB. Add it to an adjustment layer with my settings and it's cool right? I don't know about you but I love this effect. Now we are gonna add the main color grading, add looks and click on edit and here you can adjust the colors with specific moods using the color mixer or other effects. But for these clips, we are only gonna use chromatic evolution, lens vignette, lens distortion and edge softness. These four are the most important ones so don't forget about them. Now for uploading, enhance your videos with the same top as settings and just so you know YouTube supports up to 8k 60fps HDR videos while Instagram only supports up to 1080p 30fps FPS videos with just 8 bit colors, so I recommend you to upload your videos at 4K 30 FPS with MP4 format and H264 codec at at least 10 MB bitrate. And as for YouTube, you should upload it through YouTube Studio, and for Instagram, you should upload it through the Meta Business Studio. And here is another tip for you. Make sure your videos look good even in low resolution cause most people aren't gonna watch your videos at the maximum available quality. It could be because of poor internet, low end devices, it could be any reason you know. So that is it for the tutorial and I hope you learned something new and this is the first time I am personally doing voiceover for my own videos so please forgive me if it's not up to the standards and don't forget to try Wonders Renew Converter, a link is in the description. Bye.